Okay, so uh, you're uh, born Cuban. You saw so many rounds over there. You tried so many. Can you, like, in in, in short, can you tell us uh, how does the process of making yes, one yes. round looks like? You I, can, I, yes, sure. you can tell how does it look like to to make legendaria. Yes. Uh, okay. The first process is the sugar cane. Uh, that come in, in Cuba, we are, the, our fields are sure. plenty of sugar cane, yes. You say there are in the, mountains mostly. Yeah. No, it's in the flat region because Cuba, the, in the mountain we have... Uh, let me start for another sorry, thing. Yeah, yes, yeah. I'm sorry, because I wasn't... Mean, yes. There are three, the trilogy that we can name Cuba is the, that make Cuba special, is the, the rum, uh, the rum that come from the, Cuba, the sugar cane, of course, the coffee and, and the cigars, the Cuban mm -hmm. cigars. This made a perfect combination uh, mm -hmm. in the historical Cuba, no? Yeah. In Cuba, uh, our, our landscape is mostly flat. There are some mountains, of course, but in these mountains, um, most of the, the, the harvest, the harvest, no? It's, I mean, yeah, like herbal. Uh, yes, it's it produced by coffee. It's by coffee or other things. But the the sugar cane is most on the flat area, flat region in the west side of the Cuba. West side is Pinal de Rio, La Habana, Matanzas. Also in my province, uh, Santi Espiritus. Uh -huh. And on the east side, where before was the big distilleries in sure. Oriente. Yeah. And they, they take the sugar cane uh, with a lot of cherish because we don't. I, we can say that our our rum is organic rum mm -hmm. because we don't use pesticides, insecticides. Nothing. Everything is quite natural. Yes. Well, that's. Uh, However, we don't that's have important thing. Yeah. But we don't have any any document that uh, say that it's organic because uh, normally some countries say that. No, but I need the document. No, we don't have it. Yeah. But we can prove that it's organic. Perfect. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yes. That's a, that's an important thing. Yeah. So after that, uh, the, the, um, they get the juice, sugar cane juice in the in the mills, mm -hmm. and it's fermented by some old yeasts. Mm -hmm. Do you mean? Do you know where it's yeast? It's like yeah, yeah I know. Is, yeah. is it true that uh, Cuban rums uh, use champagne yeast? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? No. I read that some somewhere. Really? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe another, but no, I didn't know that. But it's a, like a old school method to mm -hmm. do. A, I mean, it's nothing wrong, wrong with it. It's actually great. I yeah. know that some of these yeasts are for centuries uh, kept in in Cuba. Eh? They have yes, really, yeah, really. Okay. They have a Sorry, interrupt. Yes. Go, on, go on. And so they they make it from the sugar cane. They make the molasses when this yeast. Uh, one is fermented, so they start diluting the mm -hmm. rum. Uh, normally in Cuba, there are five uh, columns of uh, the, uh, for uh, cleaning the yeah. impurities. Yeah. But usually for our room, we use only one, only one or two. Uh, except for the vodka that we have, I told you that we have a vodka, a new vodka yeah. used in Cuba from the Jurkin molasses also. And after that is. Um, it's a storage in American oak barrels or Canadian oak barrels mm -hmm. that have more than 15 years work. This is the process for all our rooms, no? Mm -hmm. And when it's a storage there, the distiller master is making from time to time some blending. It's, it's blending with another age based. Sure. The age base that we have in Cuba are from 45%, 55%, and 60 60%. Mm -hmm. And they take some of this blend in order to uh, get the proper balance. Sure, yeah. And after that, it um, it's a storage again and, and bottle it. Yeah, but this is the, 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 in, in short, what is the yeah? The and uh, most of the rums are blended rums, like you yes, can yeah, all of them. Yes. Yeah, you need to. So, for example, in the let's say nine year old, a uh, nine year old. Mm -hmm. So. The number nine, it means that uh, nine year old is the oldest rum in this bottle, right? Yes, but according to the law, we cannot say nine years. Okay, we put nine years because most of the because of the marketing and the people they want to hear. Ah, yeah. it's nine year, nine year. The people like uh, all of us. Yeah. We we like no. 
but to the Cuban legislation, they said it's the minimum drop, the minimum age that has in this uh, blend, no? Yeah. And the blend they take from four, five, six, nine, nine years. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, but according to the uh, distiller master perception, the rum is really nine years. But we cannot write this in any document. We cannot say, no, it's nine years, because gotcha, there is yeah. no proof that it's nine years. But uh, yeah, no. uh, if the law change, maybe yes, we can say yes, it's nine years. Yes. Yeah, but the law says that uh, basic, like white rum, it must, for the Cuban rum, yes, for the Cuban. it must be in oak for three years, yes. right? Yes, yeah. right. So that's, uh, that's what I communicate all the time. That's the difference between uh, Cuban rum and maybe other rums, because Cuban rum has a law that says it must be in oak for yes. three years. Yes. If you see, uh, let's say, pure white Cuban rum, it means that it's filtered back to remove the color. Yes. Right. Uh, the color that they get, for example, the Nejo Blanco, you see the color, the amber color. Yeah. The color is not because it's adding color inside. No, 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 no. no. I, say, uh, I say if, if this one, if this is uh, completely white. The, the pure one, yes. Yeah, and yes. if it's an original Cuban rum, it means that it's filtered back to remove the color. Yes. Yeah, right. Yes. So, but this one, this is an oak color, yeah. No, yeah, no, no yeah, yes. color. yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay.